Hi, Leslie Davis here with the Christian Internet Classroom. And today, I'm going to show you how you can add a PDF file as a link to your website. PDFs are great files for transferring information. PDF stands for Portable File Document. They are easily read and printed from other computers and have become a standardized method for file sharing. If you have something you want a visitor to be able to print or easily read in a document format, using a PDF is the ideal way to go. And this is so easy to do with your WordPress thesis website. I'm going to show you exactly how. Begin by opening your dashboard. And you'll remember that's your website with the WP-admin behind it. Once you're here, simply go to the Media button. It looks a little bit like a camera. On your screen. Once it opens, what we're going to do is add a new piece of media to the library, and that will be our PDF file. So I will choose the files to upload from my computer, and I've been working on a new customer avatar. So I've got the avatar book cover here in a PDF file, and I simply double click on it to have it upload. It uploads very quickly. As the upload is occurring, what's happening with my website is it's assigning a new address that simply goes to this file. Once it comes in, I can see that the new file URL has been assigned, and I'm just going to copy and paste that so that I can use it, copy, and then save all my changes. I now have my PDF site saved here. Next, I'm going to put it in a post. You can put it in a page if you want, however you want to use it. So I have a post that I've already created on how to attach a PDF to your website. So I will simply open it and edit. I will have it in the visual mode. You can see that visuals clicked here. I'm going to add words such as how to add a PDF to your website. I'm going to highlight that and click on the link button. When it opens, it's going to ask me for the URL I want to link to. I simply paste the new URL there and click insert. I'm going to update. And then together we're going to take a look at it. I'll go back to my website because this post should be the first thing to appear. And sure enough, how to add a PDF to your website's there. And here's my link. When I click on it, it gives me the option of opening it or saving the file. I'm just going to open it, and there's my book cover. You can see it right there on your screen. My customers can now print it if they want, or they can save it. They can read through it. You can have multiple pages. You can make it larger or smaller on your screen. It's just the ideal way for you to be able to add that type of information to your website. If you have any problems, send me an email at leslie at lesliedavis.com and I'll be glad to help you.